Hey everybody, Danny Moore here, head professional at the Canterbury Golf Club in Kent. And in this week's training, I'm dealing with a question from a recent client of mine who was really struggling to strike his iron shots pure. Basically, he was fatting the ball, he was hitting the ground behind the ball. Now, if you've had this as a problem, then this week's training is going to be really, really helpful for you. So let's get started. What is a fat shot? A fat shot is a shot where the club head strikes the ground behind the golf ball. Simple as that. We want to strike the ball ideally then the turf but instead we get it the other way around. We actually strike the turf then the ball. Really really common and it's so frustrating because as you probably found it loads of uh, distance uh, lost. It's an absolute nightmare. So what we want to do is let's figure out what's actually happening at that moment. So this is the most common thing that I tend to see and it certainly was happening with my client, recent client of mine. Through impact, what tends to happen is the torso itself starts to lean backwards. So we start to lose our shape. Now, from this position here, with us leaning backwards, also our center of gravity is moving backwards and we start to strike the ground behind. Another way of looking at this, if you look at my sternum here, we want to keep the sternum reasonably over the golf ball as we swing back and then back through so that the club bottoms out at the golf ball. But the problem is with a lot of golfers is their sternum itself here when they're swinging starts to move around a lot and as if the sternum moves back here the club bottoms out. So what I want to imagine is the golf swing is similar to a pendulum. Now, when we club swings back and through, there's an arc going on here, and you can see here, there's a lower point of the golf club, okay? The club bottoms out somewhere around here. Now that bottoming out in the golf swing is defined by where our center of gravity is, and in this case, where really our sternum is. If we shift our sternum over here, then the center of gravity, or the lower point of the golf club, is gonna be back here. If we shift our sternum over here, then the low point of the golf swing is gonna be further ahead. So. We've got to pay attention to that because if, if this is moving around a lot, it's going to make it very difficult to strike those irons pure. So with that in mind, how do we do it? How do we go about improving those fat shots? Well, the first thing as we talked about, that's the understanding. Understanding that if you're fatting it, the low point of your golf swing is likely to be shifting and that's usually caused by the sternum moving around too much. Particularly when it comes to impact, it's hanging backwards. Now, this moves on to the step, uh, step two is, is well, what do we do to go, cure, go and cure that? Most of the time I see with this, there's a number of things that cause fats, but this seems to be the most common. A lot of people don't use their legs very well. They tend to slide their legs from side to side. And watch what happens to the body. Our bodies are like counterbalances. If you slide your uh, legs this way, our body moves this way. Again, look what that's done to the sternum. It tends to get the weight back and the bottom of the arc or the low point of the golf club back as well. So what we need to do is we need to start to work on obviously focusing on staying much stiller here, but then helping that. It's very hard to stay still if you start moving your legs side to side. So instead what we want to try and do, we want to start to activate the core and the hips so the hips are allowed to rotate backwards and forwards. Now, if you're a senior golfer and you've got some flexibility issues and maybe in the lower back, I'm absolutely fine in just allowing maybe the left heel to come up a little bit on the way back just to allow a little bit of a pivot and again on the way through allowing a little bit of pivot on the way through what this does now it creates more of a rotational movement which makes it so much easier to stay much more centered side to side makes everything a bit unstable and the so the sternum but look at this when you stay more set to, to stay more centered if you can rotate backwards and forwards it's so much easier so let's give that a try so here I am, I'm focused on keeping nice and centered over the golf ball and I'm going to focus now on the second bit which is rotating my lower part, my, let my hips go around the body, come back into impact and then through again. And there we get a ball turf contact. And really it is as simple as that. Understanding, to summarize there, understanding that the fat itself is caused because the sternum itself is going backwards, usually caused therefore by a side to side motion. So what I want you to do to try and correct that is focus on staying more centered and to improve that, start to allow the, the, the core and the hips to rotate back a bit on the way back and rotate through so that you're rotating much more around the center 
backwards and forwards. Simple as that. All right. Try that out. If that works, please comment in the comments box below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're enjoying these uh, trainings, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Until next week, have a great golfing week. Thanks so much for watching. And there's two things you can do right now for me. If you're enjoying these videos, you're enjoying the training, subscribe to the channel, really appreciate it. And if you want some tips and tricks that I don't share on this channel, head over to my website right here and I shall see you on the other side.